we've had a transition in this evolutionary process to the nine centered. So with regards to the manifester in the seven centered before they became known as manifestors, the warlord as General Blivin called them, what happened in order to control and maintain control, they encouraged that hierarchy and homogenization and sameness. What it does is make people more controllable. We're moving out of that tendency and into where the projector is here to guide. If you can remember nothing else about projectors, they are advisors who can guide. They guide the energy of the other, not the being by telling them what to do, but helping the other to know themselves by guiding others to use their energy or awareness in the correct way. All of us can be what we call outer authorities for others. So what happens in the not self, all people lie. I don't care who you are. If you're operating from your mind, it's a lie. The conditioning of not only everybody to hide or manipulate or lie, but especially with the manifester, instead of telling truth, it's hide, lie, give disinformation. And all of that conditioning comes from the illusion of the I inside the head because the I always lies. The I inside the head always lies. Okay, so what happens is in the seven centered Maya illusion, the mind was focused on self reflected consciousness, control, manipulate reality through your logic, through your beliefs, through your explanations. Now we have energy moving from Ajna to solar plexus. The solar plexus still in its mutative evolutionary phase and it being a process of awakening to spirit consciousness. Seven centered was about self-reflected consciousness, the I believe, the I know, the I think. But this era is not about your mind anymore. This nine centered being that we are now is moving towards spirit consciousness and awareness. It's still dramatically vacillating because there's a lot of pressure on it to evolve, a lot of mutation. So you see a lot of uh, energetic volatility with regards to the energy that's going to that solar plexus. Okay, so form intelligence is what the current nine centered human is all about. Projectors were birthed out of the seven centered construct as a new type that are here to be aware of others primarily, and in some cases really only. They are very much about guiding the other to themselves. So the biggest thing that happens is projectors being conditioned, thinking that they have to be all about themselves because that's what most of the world is about, all... <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's not a very pretty picture. It was a remembrance of what Ra would say about projector. Get, it, get your head out of your, you know what, kind of a thing. Okay, so there is a challenge that happens when you believe the mind's story that all of the types, all of the types will have their own trip with, okay? And it's the biggest challenge to wake up from, believing the conscious uh, recognition of the running commentary inside of your head, the busy, 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 busy mind. Okay. It's always polluted by all of the openness in the chart, not just the open centers, all of the openness in the chart. And so there's a, a kind of discontinuity of maybe this person's direction or recognition if they are operating from mind. So the moment that the projector is attempting to manipulate the other in order to get something from them. Now we have a projector that is not operating in alignment, a projector that is attempting to guide mistakenly and running into brick walls, third line or challenges, what have you, and constantly complaining 
or shaming and guilting and faulting and blaming. That's all, all of those words I just said, seven centered. So every time you hear yourself, all of us <laughs> going, I bet that person did that because of, and then you start to rant into what you think about them rather than just asking directly. That is a seven centered habit. The discontinuity of your mind's process, the chaos, it's very disturbing. So the purpose of human design is to get us out of our head and into our body. Okay. Every single one of us is conditioned from birth. And all of us as adults, especially, we have to go through this painful process of detaching from the conditioning with the belief that it was somebody's fault. There is no fault. This is the no choice, no fault manual for living strategy and authority. So there's a very simple solution that Genoa Bliven gives us with regards to the mental trap of thinking that you can control reality. Projector is always thinking, oh, if I do this, they're going to see me like this and I'm going to get the accolades and I'm going to be successful. I, I, I. Okay. So for the manifester, tell yourself the truth as you understand it, as you understand it. The same with everyone you know. The most important, valuable thing for all of us is to stop lying to ourselves, okay? We start with the people closest to us because that's with whom it matters the most. First and foremost, self. We are the closest to ourselves. And then it becomes the people that we are in auric contact with, whether it be in aura, whether it be, you know, the world at large. Maybe you have a strong social media following and what have you. It is your authority and only your authority is what will know what the truth is. Manifestors are the ones that need to get the ball rolling, that, that they take the initiative to tell the truth. And so when you hear Ra doing so from his stories and his experiences and how his mind works and all of those things, he got the ball rolling for us. Now, the truth is not something that we are in control of. The truth of a response. Uh-huh. What happens is the mind will try to make up reasons why the authority says what it says. Justifications, rationalizations, okay? It will try to paint itself in the best light. So finding yourself in a lie, you attempt to backtrack and then you tell it this way and then you make up stories about this and then you say, oh, no, no, I didn't think that. This is how it is because you think that that's gonna get you out of trouble. That's the kind of thing that your mind schemes and manipulates and distorts your reality rather than just telling the truth. The sum total of your life experience. How can we grasp that in a single moment for us emotional people? We can't. It's unpacked over the life. For the splenic manifester, it's either now or not. Beautiful. We don't have to give up reasons or stories. That is that being's existential truth the impact they're here to struggle for and be tenacious about and put out into the world on the wavelength of developing talent and skills, skillfully informing in order to impact. So it's very, very different for each type. Each of us has a connection to our personal truth. And we don't have to make up excuses. We don't have to lie. We don't have to manipulate. It is what it is. And the sooner that we accept that our authority is not here to brook an argument or come up with reasons and whys and wherefores. It just is what it is. We have energy for it, projector, or not. It's sweet or it's sour. When the projector attempts to lead without being recognized and invited, what happens is everything falls apart like a house of cards. So the truth is always going to be within you that your own personal authoritative process will feel as a deep intrinsic knowing if you are individual, okay? Or maybe it's a felt sense, a cycle of experience if you're abstract. Maybe it's some logic that's to your taste. Whatever it happens to be, however it is that that energetic rise of energy within you is felt. That is the thing to touch base with. Instead of believing the mind story about why you can't or why you should, 
say it this way, do it that way. Okay. The truth is your personal authoritative process knows. So if you're a generator and you respond to do so, do so, take action, speak, what have you. Projectors are designed to be recognized, have a mutual recognition in return, and then speak it. And our reflectors, when they see, when they're objective in their perspective, they can speak to their truth. Everyone has their own truth. And this is the biggest key to helping us wake up. We don't have to see the way other people see. We can see for ourselves what we see, and we don't have to try and convince or persuade everybody to see it our way. The other types do not need to inform unless their strategy triggers them to do so. But the manifester is the one that gets things started, like Ra did. If a manifester does not inform, nothing happens as far as moving towards the peace of the way that they are designed to impact the world, operating in freedom. This is the thing that is so different, that makes us so different, is that we are an interdependent species now. Moving in alignment gets us a very different frequency. Your frequency is the most wonderful signpost that you could ever have. Your frequency of success versus satisfaction versus peace versus surprise, very different things that fulfill us. The fulfillment is everything. The fulfillment is the new way of being guided home to ourselves. 